Hi everybody, welcome to another Scratch vi <coughs> Alright, uh, let's begin again. Hi everybody, welcome to another Tinkercad 3D design video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D flower and a 3D tree. And hopefully, if you have access to a 3D printer, either at home or in a shop, you can get them printed, okay? So, are you ready? Let's get started. All right, first of all, you have to open tinkercad.com. Down here, you can choose your language. We're gonna be working in English. And if you don't have an account, you have to click on Join Now. Or if you are working in Spanish, it says something like Unete ya mismo. So here, I recommend creating a personal account and following the steps, you can create it easily. You need an email, obviously. In my case, I already have an account, so I'm gonna sign in with Google. Once we're here, as you see, we have several tabs. One is circuits that I sometimes use when working on Arduino, but today we're gonna use 3D designs. So we're gonna create new design. So once you open Tinkercad, the first thing you see is this work plane where you're going to, to put your shapes. And this is where you're gonna be working. On the right side, we have a toolbar with some basic shapes. You have other types of shapes but uh, today we're going to use some basic shapes. I'm going to drag a box here. And first of all, I'm gonna teach you the basics to change the view. Using your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Using the right button of your mouse and dragging, you can change the view. You can even see the bottom of your, of your box and by pressing shift and right button, you can scroll left, right, up, down, whatever, okay? When we click on the, on the box, there are many squares that are used to change its shape and its direction, its position. This way we can enlarge it, this one we can make it higher. This way we can rotate it on different axes, okay? And this way we can move it up. But today I'm gonna teach you how to make a flower. So first of all, we're gonna begin with a cylinder and we're gonna make it not completely flat, but quite low. If you click here on top, you can see the top view. And now I'm gonna take round roof. This round roof is gonna be one petal. So first of all, I have to rotate it 90 degrees in that direction. And I'm also gonna make it three centimeters high. You can click here to put exactly three. This way the center of the flower and this petal will be as high. And now let's try to find this top view. You can also click here as I've told you before. And let's modify the shape of it. Let's place it here. Now we're going to duplicate it. There are two ways. You can click on it and choose duplicate or control D. And another way, the most common, is control C to copy and control V to paste. We're going to put this one on the opposite side. So this one should be negative 180. 
Something you can do now is choose both pedals and duplicate them at the same time. You can even group them. To choose both of them, you choose one and now holding shift, you press on the other one. Now we duplicate and if we rotate, you clearly see we have this copy and now we have four. If we duplicate again and we rotate, we have six. And if we duplicate again and we rotate, we have eight. And we could even continue. So as you know, we have the flower, but we still need the stem and the leaves. For the stem, I'm going to use a cone. Let's change view. Now let's make this cone similar to the stem of flower. like three centimeters wide and three centimeters high. Like three centimeters wide. As you see, three centimeters wide and also three centimeters high. We can make it a bit longer. Obviously the color has to be different. And we can put it here. As it should be behind the petals, we're going to put it there. And also this cylinder should be like there. And now we can make a couple of leaves. We can also make them using a cylinder, if we make it flat that way. Now we duplicate it and we rotate it. Now it is important to make sure this is correctly placed, as you see it is not. So we have to, to move it down. Or maybe we should move the whole flower upwards. Like here. As you see, we still have to move the, the yellow circle down. We could make it a bit higher if we want, so that it sticks out a little bit. And now, the most interesting part, I'm gonna select the whole flower and I'm gonna put it upright this way. And now we move it up until, as you see here, this is zero. Well, we can put it. And here we have it. Now, obviously, you can change the color of the petals and you can. I've told you using shift you can select many petals at a time and change the color of them more quickly. And the flower will be finished. The most important part of this and also the most difficult part is being able to move the view to the position you want it to be. Okay. So that's something you have to practice 
uh, review the first part of the video where I have explained to you how to do it. Well, maybe it could be a good idea to rotate the flower a little bit, but we have to make sure we don't select this, this, this cone. And we have to rotate it in this direction. That way, it looks a little bit better, like the stem is between two petals. Okay, so now we're gonna make a tree. We could make it next to the flower, but I'm gonna make it as a separate picture. So we click on Tinker Cut here on the top left corner, and we're gonna create a new design. By the way, if you wanna share this with other people, and this is very important, what you have to do is click on Options, Properties, and here in Privacy, you select Public. Okay? That's essential and you save changes. And now if you click on the flower, you will see down here you have a link, okay? This is the link you have to share with the person you want to, to see this flower. And if you click on view in 3D, you can watch the flower, okay? So as I said before, let's create a new design to make a tree. This time we're going to make a tree using balls and cylinders. Only that, okay? It's going to be a very simple tree. So let's take a sphere. Let's put it here and obviously make it green. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. For example, 10, 10 and height 10 as well. And now as we've said, let's duplicate many times. Now we can select all this and duplicate. Put it like here. This one could be here. This one could be here. We can duplicate, for example, one ball to put it here. This one could go there. And now we're gonna duplicate all this and move it up. Let's make sure. Okay. Then we duplicate again and move it up. Maybe if we, well, let's see. I'm gonna try what happens to make it a little bit more irregular. Let's see if I can select only this. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Okay, so now let's select it. I think I'm gonna put it this way and lift it to make some space for the trunk and the branches of the tree. So now cylinder here. Yeah, it looks like it's in the right position. Let's make it narrower more narrow, higher, all right, now let's choose a better color, and now a couple of branches, so for the branches we're gonna use cylinder, cylinders as well, but obviously they have to be thinner, So guys, I insist, the most important part of this is being able to look for the for the best view, okay? So that you can edit it properly. Here, let's take the good color and now we'll lift it. Okay. Um, 
Well, maybe we could we could make another branch. So here, 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 and up here again. And now let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a tree. Obviously, if you can, if you want to make an apple tree, you could make like um, red circles, which could be the the apples. Well, but that's up to you. Okay. So again, this would be finished. By the way, it's a good idea to to write a title to your project. Click on Tinkercad again to go to the main menu. And as I've told you before, um, in properties, choose public and save changes. And now when you click here, you can share this link with anyone. All right, as you see, it doesn't look that bad, but obviously, for example, if we had added some uh, green spheres over here and some more green spheres over here so that this is not so so flat so regular maybe it could look even better okay but I've done it very fast so that you you can see the idea of of 3d design okay well I haven't told you but if you click on download you have one option here which says download this model as an STL file if you want to use it to use external services or 3D printers. If you have a 3D printer at home, you can print this tree. And if you don't have one, you can also go to a printer in your city and hopefully you could get it printed, okay? And now I'm gonna show you a trick which I haven't shown you yet because it wasn't necessary, but it is very helpful and you might need to do it. I'm gonna create a new design. I'm gonna try to create a mountain with a tunnel going through it. So how do you do that? Look, let's say for example, this is gonna be the mountain. I'm gonna make it big. And this is gonna be the tunnel that is gonna go through the mountain. If you want the, the mountain to have a tunnel here, this is what you have to do. As you see, the tunnel is going through the mountain, okay? But obviously, this is a, a solid shape. So, I choose this option, hole. And now I choose both objects, and I click on group. And this is what we get, okay? So if you combine two objects and one is a hole, that creates a hole on the other object. So that's very helpful in, make, in many cases. For example, here, if you want to create a mountain, as I've said, with a tunnel going through it. And that's all, guys. I hope you liked this video. It's completely different from the ones we've been doing recently. And if you like it, let me know because we could, we could make more about it, okay? Bye-bye.